Good night, brothers and sisters. Excuse me, the voice not so good. I'm fighting the flu. But nevertheless, I made sure I'm here tonight. I had to be here. Yes, we have them. We have them. As I stand here tonight, brothers and sisters, I want to endorse the brother, Brother Jamal Pringle. A wonderful young man. We went to school together. We're from good stock. As I stand here tonight, brothers and sisters, I stand here with the confidence that the you people will form the next government. The next government in this country. We are going to witness on March 21st the burial of the Antigua Labour Party for good. Get them out of here. We have a minister of education who is away educating himself as your children suffering in education. I said that must no, happen no longer. Absolutely no longer we will allow that. Can you imagine that we have a man that says he has a degree and rather than he publish the document, he bring a woman here for go up and read it for say he has a degree. Rather than break the document public so I can see. The man is an imposter. And what we do with imposters? We jail them. Jail them for go. Yeah, we are struggling here in this country. Can you imagine? We are here struggling in this country. And this man taking your money away, doing no work in Antigua. He is away looking about himself. And we are here facing high gas prices. Unemployment going through the roof. Can you imagine? And we are saying, under the leadership of Senator the Honorable Harry Lovell, we are going to restore dignity and pride, prosperity in this country. We have them. We have them. Every day I go around this country, sometimes I kind of get to the crowd. I'm in the supermarket today, and it takes me 40 minutes just to pick up one biscuit and left. 40 minutes, everybody stopping me. People cannot wait for the 21st of March for us to get rid of these guys. Like I said, we're going to witness the burial of Gaston Brown and the Antigua Labour Party for good. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. I'm say get rid of them. No longer. People in this country are terrified. Can you imagine? Terrified. Women are afraid. Afraid to stay in the houses. And this man is going to them and say, I can't let sleep in the dope. This man is tell, and I, what I want to tell you, this man is tell I can't sleep in the dope. And people are terrified in this country. People are crying out for street lights. The bushes want to clean. And this man tell the people of this country for sleep in the dope. He have no regard for women. Have no regard for people in this country. But let me tell you this. I can assure you that come March 21st, me going to done with him. But if you feel you can run and pay back the money, we in the work for a lie. Because you can pay back every single cent. Every single cent that you know work for. Tell me, he says so. Michael Brown, you'll pay back every single cent that you didn't work for. Not you. Walking around fooling people in this country, saying you're studying. Studying what? Where is the proof? Billboard minister, be Facebook minister. No, 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 no. But let me tell you this. The Honorable Harold Lovell has put together a dream team. The rescue team. Because the rescue mission is on. And we are going to redeem this country. So come March 21st. Redemption Day. Redemption Day, brothers and sisters. We are going to rescue this country. We cannot lose the key of our brains to re-elect Gaston Brown and people like Michael Brown. Never again. One thing I would like to say, he sing the song, never again. And now he turned me back. Eh? What a joker. Big joke. Never again will we elect Gaston Brown and the Antigua Labour Party in this country. Like I said to you before, 
the Honorable Bahama Lovell with the dream team of men and a wonderful woman will restore the good name of this beloved antique and Barbuda. We have made promises to you that we will lower gas prices. We will reduce the unemployment rate. We will lower the cost of living. And those are the promises that we will keep to you. The voice can't hold up too long because like I said, I'm fighting the flu. But I had to be here tonight. I made sure I take about 40 different medicines yesterday. Come and mean my for you tonight. Okay? And with the, the help of the good Lord, of course. Because I even know some of you see I'm practicing to be a preacher. More everybody coming from a church. <laughs> but listen, brothers and sisters, seriously, on March 21st, as you wake up in the morning, make sure you give God thanks. Because that is first and foremost. And go out and vote. Vote for the United Progressive Party. Make sure you vote for Brother Jamal Pringle. Vote for Brother Lamy Newton. Brother Richard Lewis. Put back the dream team to run this country. And we will bring back the pride and prosperity in this country. I love you. Thank you. Have a good night.